Its calendars are famous the world over, so are Pirelli's tyres. Now the 143-year-old Italian company has agreed to a 7.1 billion euro deal with China National Chemical Corporation. The move will give China access to top tyre-making technology and Pirelli will get more export opportunities. Jane Foley is from Rabobank. The trend for China now to uh, be more interested in, in uh, technology companies is, is increased. Part of this, of course, is the attraction of the weak exchange rate. And, and once again, we see a very weak euro, again, making these companies uh, more attractive to investors such as uh, the Chinese. The tie-up continues a growing trend. Last year alone, there were 10 deals between China and Italy in various sectors, including energy, banking and even fashion. China's state grid corp bought a 2.4 billion euro stake in state-owned power company CDP Reti. The People's Bank of China acquired 2% of oil giant Eni. Shanghai Electric Group bought 40% of turbine maker and Saldo Energia. And the historic Kritzia brand is now owned by Shenzhen Marys Frog Fashion. Pirelli is the world's fifth largest tyre maker, supplying Formula One's top team Ferrari. Its tie-up with China will help it compete with larger rivals like France's Michelin and Germany's Continental. Investors seem to like the deal. Pirelli's shares rose another 3.5% after hitting a 25% high last week when details of the deal were leaked. It comes as Italy's economy has been struggling. It's seen no growth for the past 14 quarters. Italy uh, is probably not in a position really to, to have a huge amount of opposition. Uh, I think if uh, inward investment can provide more, more opportunities for Pirelli and other uh, companies to sell uh, their products in China. Pirelli chairman and CEO Marco Tronchetti Provero, who began working at the firm almost three decades ago, was instrumental in making the deal happen. He'll stay on as chief exec, but the new Chinese owners are expected to pick a new chairman. Thank you.